better. Is Move Start Truster D? It's a game changer. Unbelievable. All the hard work, all the sacrifices, all the traveling right now will be an amazing goal too. Welcome back dudes, another video. Thank you, as you saw from the intro, this is the Smooth Star new range of boards. It's the, 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 the latest and greatest, well it's only been one change in 17, 18, 19 years, and this is it. They've just landed, I've got my worldwide uh, shirt on, because it's a worldwide review. No one's done it as I saw at the moment. So big shout out to Philippe Toledo, who won the world title, the WSL in Lower Trestles, he nab nabbed it. Won the world title, he is a Smooth Star sponsored Ambassador, he rides this Hash 77, which is my board as well. Uh, an incredible, incredible board. That's been the training vehicle for Philippe to win the world title. Joanne DeFay, uh, model as he will go through in a second. She came third in the title in the world uh, from France, Reunion Island. Big shout out to Philippe and to Joanne. Not to mention Sally Fitzgibbons, Laura Evner, the, the Tyler Wright, Owen Wright. There's been a host of surfers that have been training on these the best surf training tool in the world period check out my review here of the of the comparison carver and smooth smooth star but also against the surfscape these things work and they work beautifully i had a carver once i got on one of these it was day and night and i just I gave it away. Um, so look, if you haven't thought about a Smooth Star, have a look at them. But today we're talking about the new range, the new truck, the Thruster D, how it works. There's a lot to unpack here, a lot to unbox. I don't want to bombard you with a lot of information. Today's more about looking at the actual, uh, the, the, looking at the boards, what's happening. We'll have a quick ride at the end, just to give the feel of what the new one's like. So this is going to be a little bit more information about why this, how this model came about, the new boards and what's happening. So, uh, well, this is the original and we'll go through that in a second what's happening with the new Philippe Toledo's and we'll go through all that now. So Smooth Star, if you don't know about it, they've been around since 2004, Australian made, designed and engineered with, in conjunction with Japan, with industrial designers. I'm an electrical fitter mechanic engineer as well as a rider and a surfer and a skateboard rider of 51 years on skateboards and uh, 48 years in surfing. Um, the, the mechanics of this is quite extraordinary. I, I have not seen anything on this level. Other things are pretty much skaters, toys, and, and, and just, you know, not more for grommets and kids. This is an engineering piece of marvel, and I'll go through the details of that in a second. So today, uh, after, what, 20, uh, 17 years, they've decided to release a new front thruster. It's a Thruster D. Uh, with that comes the new decks, and I'll go into more detail why they've got a new deck and why you need to do that in conjunction with the actual boards. But uh, we're gonna unveil these three now. We might just get them out and open them up now, and I'll just do what I normally do, and that is I think I'll just go, well, actually, let's unwrap one. How's that, hey? This is the Joanne DeFay model. Big shout out to Smooth Star for um, entrusting me with the review of this, their products, especially the first person in the world to do this. Before I started filming tonight, no one else has done this yet. This is the first. Uh, review and look at the new boards. It's very exciting. So um, there we have it. That's the new logo on the front. It's quite simplistic. It's also very synonymous with the Smooth Star. When you see that timber strip across the front, you know it's a Smooth Star. You've got the Rolls Royce or BMW of carving boards. Uh, comes with the warranty information, the phone app. There's so much to do talk about here. Uh, so this is the new board. So let's um, let's just take the other two out, which is the Dolphin Cruiser Two. 39 inch and of course my favorite the uh 
<laughs> some bubble Ray Leary. He's a hot surfer from Cronulla and Sydney. The most vicious and the most aggressive backhand I've ever seen in any surfer in the last 50 years. That's his model. Let's unbox them now and we'll have a look. There you go, we're done. Uh, okay, so we've got all the boards here to talk about. We'll go through them in a second, but I want to talk to you a bit about the, the truck system and the new truck system and why it's a bit different and how it affects the boards and the actual decks and the sizes. So this is the two trucks. This is the original Thruster one, and we'll, uh, we'll hold it this way, so that's the front of the board. It's upside down, but I need to show it this way. So you can see that uh, it, on this is the Fleet Toledo, powder coated beautifully in a flat black. Uh, the other boards pretty much had a silver finish on them. They were very robust and industrial. I love that. But if you notice where the, the, the actual four bolts are held onto the deck, you'll notice that the, the truck is not only um, it's cantilever, but it's sitting right. If that was on the, uh, the board there, there's, you've got that much swinging at the back. Okay, so the center, so the wheelbase comes back from the center of the truck's about four, about four fingered distance there. Okay, so that affects the wheel uh, base length, okay? You'll notice on the new system, the Thruster D, look how, first of all, how compact and small it is, and it's pushed together. It's as if you've got the original truck and they've just pushed it together uh, to give you a center where the, the truck hanger is directly over the center of the bolts where they go on the deck. So you can see that now you haven't got the weight flexing or you know cantilevering off the back, it's centered over the top. What that means, it gives you quite a direct drive and it gives you instantaneous feel. Plus the vertical on the truck I'm just noticing here is definitely a little bit more vertical. The Japanese have, uh, in conjunction with Smooth Tub, designed this and this is just like something out of a, a Sony factory. Um, if they made a skateboard truck. Uh, and yeah, you can see the difference st oh, straight away there um, without you know any, and not only that, you've got a, a different spring system here, a different blocking and mechanism. I'll go in details of the next video where there uh, was a point here that where the old ones could after a long, long time, three or four years, wear at the end there because it was more uh, welded and a small um, attachment bolt at the end. This is all, locked in, uh, easy to adjust the back for any adjustment you want rather than have an Allen key on here. You've still got, you've got a robust uh, round head on here, it looks better. Also the bearings on these can be changed, popped off new bearings go on, they're a complete bearing, they're a round bearing. So uh, it, I'll go into more detail how it's a much better design in so many ways. But the reason I'm telling you that in terms of the shape of that is because when it's on the deck where it's bolted on here, that wheel base will be obviously a certain length for the original boards and now you've got this one bolting on the same place you can see it's come back about two and a half inches so because of that smooth star had to redesign their decks and the benefit and the obviously the spin-off uh, uh trade-off that was so good with that is they could then make the decks a little bit shorter in length so rather have a longer deck like you had on the Philippe Toledo with the 33 inch wheelbase. You can now go a smaller deck and you can have a bigger deck. They're able to have two sizes now in the Philippe Toledo. That was where it was a 33 inch wheelbase for it's now 32.5 and also 34. So if you're a six foot one guy and you want the Philippe Toledo, you can get that. If you are a shorter guy, five, six, seven, you want the Philippe Toledo, you can get that as well, those two ranges. I'll go through that detail uh, on the next video on the website, but that's an important aspect to know. Okay, so that brings us to the next point, frequently asked questions. A lot of people are saying, I wanna buy, like originally, I'm gonna buy just the Thruster one and whack it on my skateboard. Well, probably you can. The website still sells the Thruster ones and they're uh, $110, you can get them. But there, people are saying now, look, I've got a Smooth Star, I wanna get the new mechanism, I wanna get the Thruster D, so I just wanna put it on my board. You can't do that because of that different setup on the screws and the different size of the uh, wheel base length. It's not, a, you can't do that. That's why Smooth Star are not selling it individually because you really gotta buy the decks, the new decks to accommodate the correct wheel span, span as well as the right foot stance and the right, it's all, very cleverly engineered, so you can't do that. So this is why they're not available. That's the first question. So second uh, most important asked question is, I've got a Smooth Star now, I'm happy with it. Do I have to buy the new ones? Is, it, is the new mechanism that good? Do I need to really upgrade a new board? Well, I, my answer to that would be, look, you can't have enough Smooth Stars. I've got three boards, I'll have now got four or five. Everyone's different to different conditions. I've got the Dolphin Cruise again in Amanda, I've got the shorter boards for the skate park. 
Yes, get another one. And why? Because I have ridden this, and I'll tell you now a sneak, uh, obviously, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, the difference is, is quite considerable in some respects. It does feel incredibly smooth through that turn, more so than even the Thruster 1. Thruster 1, best analogy to give you would probably be that the Thruster 1 gives me a feel on the Philippe Toledo like I'm riding a twin fin, a nice bitey twin fin, really lovely and can turn on a dime. It's quite incredibly responsive and agile and quite, I can, halfway through turn I can kink it more like a twin fin. When the Thruster D is the most beautiful feel, it's a bit like going from a twin fin to a thruster. Ironically, you've got that bite, you've got that more direct push. It really emulates the feeling of a fin through the wave even better. If it could have possibly even better that, it does it slightly better. So uh, yes, get another board if that's what you want. Um, uh, 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 in that respect, I wouldn't even stop. For 400 bucks, you know, compared to electric skateboards, I review though, $2,000 get yourself a new board, right? Third frequently asked question is uh, shipping now around the world. Um, I live in the States, for instance, uh, question is, do you get, yes, you can now, we sh they ship to the States, they ship to California. There was an issue with Carver trying to monopolize uh, the West Coast. That's been now nailed down. We There's no more bullshit there. Uh, so smooth styles are available in the States. So they've got warehouses located everywhere. Let's talk about the boards now. The one I'm leaning on here is the brand new Joanne Buffet. Uh, it's got the beautiful um, teal hibiscus uh, on the bottom there. It's, it's just got the new logo on the front. I've noticed straight away now that it's got a much, much more scalloped out centre. Now with these boards, you ride them with bare feet. You don't ride them with shoes. And if you want to know why, well, I'll ask anyone to put um, Mick Fanning or uh, John John Florence or Philippe Toledo on a board in a contest and wear a pair of van shoes on them. You wouldn't even be able to carve or turn. You need, with your foot, you need the ball, the toe, you need the back of the heel, you need to grip your toes. You're meant to ride these things in bare feet. So if you see me riding in bare feet without a helmet, that's that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the the width is beautiful. We've got a much wider, a much more sculpted out back. And notice the tail has come up a lot flared out. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to ride this. I'm five foot 10. This will be a perfect size for me. Uh, the beautiful uh, embossed and coated factory finish um, powder coated is a high quality uh, enamel. It's actually more probably anodized with a, a car finish on it. It's absolutely incredibly finished. Beautiful. So that's a Joanne DeFay. Big shout out to Joanne. Congratulations on your third place in the world title. Uh, the Connor O'Leary. Now Connor O'Leary is an Aussie surfer. He comes out of Cronulla. Uh, he's one of the most up and coming radical um, goofy footers on, on the circuit. Um, he's done extremely well. This is his signature model they brought out and it's new. So this is, um, I'm loving the look of that. That is just absolutely, it just drops here, drops down in the back. You put your foot back in here. I mean, some of the best surf trainers in the world have been using these uh, boards. Uh, look at Cale Brock, a guy, uh, an Aussie guy who's a surf trainer and he goes through and breaks down the whole movement of these things beautifully. The video's on the corner there. Um, you just can't better this, this, this deck. There's nothing on the market that has a deck like this. I mean, when you hold the carver next to it, it's just a joke. Uh, these are quite insane. And one of the uh, number one coaches in Australia at the time in the world is, comes out of the HPC, the High Performance Surf Centre, uh, where it trains all the future pro surfers in Australia. Um, Sasha Stocker, he was training all his grommets and all his um, uh, participants in that particular course on the so um you know this is uh obviously one of this is the only tool you need to improve your surfing once you get on this my surfing improved incredibly once i got on one of these i n literally overnight was carving harder into turns and be able to control that much better uh, and the surf schools are all available all around australia check them out where you you learn how to you know position yourself on these boards and how to ride properly uh, the last board we're going to talk about here is for the uh, maybe the older gentleman. Uh, it's the Dolphin Cruiser. It has got a beautiful, it's a width of 39 inches between uh, the wheelbase. Uh, you can see it hasn't got anywhere near as much rocker. It's pretty much flat. You can iron your shirt on that. The back's got a slight kink. Obviously, um, symbiotic of all these boards have these beautiful scalloped out tails. 
I've ridden this original one, uh, the original Dolphin Cruise. This is the Dolphin Cruiser 2 with the new Thruster D on the front in polished white enamel. Beautiful. You don't want to hang these on the wall. You don't want to even <laughs> ride them uh, with the beautiful sky blue wheels. Uh, I got up to 17 kilometers per hour pumping this over a period of about the first eight, seven, 10 seconds. You can get so much speed on this thing. Uh, it's just ridiculous. You really can get an enormous amount of um, speed. So if you're really cruising around the beaches, you just want to, you know, want to cruise down. You don't want to be doing some heavy carbs. This will carve, this Dolphin Cruiser carves on a dime. You can do the same thing I do on all my boards with this one, just that you have that for a taller guy, 6'4", 6'5", you've got that bigger stance. And remember, the stance on your surfboard is determined by the stance on these boards. So you can't have a board like a carver or a surf skate where you put your feet together. Where your feet will sit on this will be the exact spot they are on your surfboard. So that's the design. That's why these decks are so incredibly wide and quite big, and they're a decent size. This is the baby one. This is just the 30, what is it, 31 inch. So this will be something that will be even right for me, uh, as well as up to the Dolphin Cruiser. So guys, um, that is today the overview of the, the obviously the new design, the Thruster D. We're gonna show you now, uh, before I go, a 3D video, and I'll talk over it with something very special um, on, on how the makeup of this, this is and why this is the Rolls Royce um, of engineering. I mean, that just to look at it, it just, a, just it's beautiful. Uh, so let's throw now to 3D image of this. We'll have a look at now, obviously this, this particular system, you must understand that, you know, really these are a different level there, than what you'll find out there in the marketplace. This is the next step. This is if you're serious about your surfing and your surf training, uh, this is what you want. Even down to the full embossed on the side, all the riding smooth starts, all just beautifully uh, etched in here, it's gorgeous. Um, so today I'm also, if you've been through the video this long and you've waited till now, very excitedly I need to tell you that I, uh, in conjunction with Smooth Star, I'm very excited to announce that we're giving away a Smooth Star board, a board of your choice. Um, anyone you want will be delivered to you. Uh, it's uh, obviously it's a, it's a prize that's uh, available to my subscribers only and you have to be um, also making a comment on this video and they can't have more than one comment because the comment picker will pick those out uh, analyze it and also you can't have more than one account they'll also work that out uh, so just be fair put one entry in I only had 16 comments last video so you got a good chance to win a $400 Australian Smooth Star latest Thruster D skateboard. Also, I'll be giving away on the next video where I do the full ride test at the skate park, and I'll be giving away two, not one, but two Grom boards. That's the um, the Hammerhead and the Stingray, uh, or the Flying Fish, whatever it is. There are two of them with a phone app for under eight-year-olds. So if you've got a son or a daughter who wants to get into this, that'll be available in the next video for another contest. So um, the contest today just Put a comment down and in three weeks time I'll do a video and I'll sit here and do it live and pick them and then I'll video it all and record it all and I'll put it up and you'll get me notified of the winner of the contest. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the Smooth Star D Thruster range of new boards. Very exciting direction. Not only that, you've got different range of categories of sizes in each model. You've got the whole new shapes. You've got the new uh, Connor O'Leary, which is a square. It's just, it's just the whole thing is so exciting. And with, with the world title just being won by Philip Toledo, this is obviously evident that this, these products work and they work well. And a uh, big shout out to uh, Smooth Star again for thanking you for the contest uh, prizes. And I think we'll head out now quickly, have a quick little five minutes riding it and give you my honest opinion again on the difference. But I've already ridden it and I've pretty much given you a sneak, a spoiler alert how good that is. So remember, twin fin thruster. Uh, yeah, fantastic guys. So next time guys, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, happy skating, safe skating. We'll see you in the next video. Andrew Pittman, signing off. Okay, <laughs> we're out here. This is the new Connor O'Leary. Check it out. That could be the thumbnail. We'll check that out. Um, the new mechanism, the Thruster D on the front. That's a THD. They're nicknaming it with the double bearing adjustments. Uh, the whole powder coat. The whole truck, as you can see, is embossed and moulded on. There's no separate truck anymore. Uh, it's completely bolted on. If you look at the original, a separate skateboard truck, absolutely bolted onto the mechanism. 
Now, before we go for a ride on this, I want to take you on a ride on a cheap Kmart, Walmart uh, carver board. It's really stiff. <laughs> Needs a lot of speed. Oh yeah, it's like a normal skateboard. Really, that is, that's pretty hopeless. Right, now we're going to take the Manta Ray for a ride. This is my Manta Ray. You can see the Stosia Peralta rail guards. I love doing that. I'll do a link to what I did with that. This is 34 inch, same size as my Flip Toledo. Let's take this for a ride and then we'll take the, the new mech and the new thruster. Let's take this for a ride. Um, the thing with a Manta Ray, it's actually a good size for a six foot so person, six foot two, nice and wide, 34 inch. Let's take it for a ride. Oh yeah, this is actually, yeah, this is, this is a nice mechanism. It still works well. My first ride ever on the Connor O'Leary. Let's see what it can do. Remember this board? Yeah, 34 inch. Oh my God. I hope I'm picking up the microphone. Oh man, this is so good. I'd say Yeah, I'd say at least 25% improvement. What's the difference? The difference is a smoother turn, more control through the turn, more responsive, more counterbalance over the track, a better feel, much, 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 much control because you've got that center of gravity over the truck uh, where you haven't got a cantilever as big off the edge. Uh, it feels like a the best analogy is a thruster going from a twin fin on the manta ray it's like going to a thruster um, it's that direct carve feel wow okay so that is impressive straight away i'm going to give it i'm going to take it for a ride for 30 minutes come back but i'll give my rating at the end of that let's go for a ride oh yeah i might take my watch off for this This is a quick unbox today. Get yourself on these boards, they're landed, they're available. That new mech is a Terminator. Uh, today's rating is gonna be 9.9 .9 out of 10. There's no, there's no debating it. This is just about perfection. Haven't given a 10.10 .10 out of my rating ever. This is the highest rating. So 10.10 .10 dudes, dude S's, smooth star. Philippe Toledo just won the world title training on this. Get yourself one, and we'll see you in the next video. Andrew Penman, signing off. Let's start the music. Thank you.
What? You're still here? Cool. Listen, why don't you watch some of these other videos I've made in the past along the same lines of what you've just watched in the same kind of category. Enjoy.